Uh, boop. We've got some new Necromunda boys. Uh, We've got this guy, Propaganda Boy. TV screens and speakers. Cool kind of premise, but he's not wacky enough. Huh? I want him more. Like I like the the mega the megaphones mm-hmm. and the, the TV banner. I think they're both cool, but I feel like the guy should be so much more outlandish. Yeah. Uh, like I want him to look more like a like a Necromunda circus like ringleader <laughs> yeah. like super flamboyant uh, over the top who's like the f- the fucking like hype man yeah like do you remember the guy the um the like town crier from Rome the old BBC series yeah 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 do you remember? exactly like, that guy he was really like flamboyant he was who like was Gaius that? Julius uh, Caesar who was that actor because he's in like a lot of a lot of like British stuff uh, oh. oh my god um Rome series and now it's uh, BBC. Uh, it's like kind of um This like guy. A, yeah. Like I always liked it when he like got us up to date with what was going it on. It was such a news. good way to like <laughs> okay, like two years have passed. Yeah. Bomb. It was like, you know, when you get the news on in the background during the boys. And they're like, The Senate has met today if I'm out of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just helps to just pushes pushes the plot forward without Ian too much McNeese. exposition. Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Ian McNeese been in. Look. Uh, <laughs> ah. Fine. This type. I will type. Uh. Oof. Oof. He uh, dead. Yeah, it's <laughs> just saw someone in chat most recently. A box. <laughs> Rough. Um. Uh, okay, right. Was, was he in sharp or was he never in sharp? <gasps> he fucking looks like he was in sharp. He, like he definitely could have been. Oh shit! He was Baron Harkonnen. Oh, in the June June TV series. Okay, he was Churchill in Doctor Who. <sighs> I can believe that. He looks like a Churchill. Um, Just. How far back do we go for sharp? Is that the nineties? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say he was a sharp. Oh, oh shit! Boom, Runciman. He was. He was in Sharp's battle. Nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just like there, are, like so many just like British actors just have a cameo as an officer <laughs> yeah. at one point in Sharp. Um, but yeah. Nice. Oh, cool for him. Are you, no, he's not dead. He's in something this year. <gasps> Unless he's Ghost Man. Do you think they CGI'd him? Princess Leia style. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Uh, okay. Right. <clears throat> and then, well, if you didn't, if you weren't impressed by how wacky this guy was, you're going to hate this guy. Yeah, super bland. He's Killed an enforcer. That guy didn't kill an enforcer. He found it. <laughs> he did find a helmet on the floor, didn't also, he? Also, <laughs> if I was an enforcer and I saw someone wearing those pretty sussy looking fucking belt jangles. Oh, yeah, those are well I would sus. Just load execution around <laughs> and just like, just let rip. Um, yeah, what a fucking cultist. From over eight inches away, so you get the plus one to hit. Yep, yeah, because it had a little robot seeking brain, and it didn't like guidance system didn't kick in. Boom. So uh, yeah, yeah, but I you don't would... want to get within eight inches of this guy. He might infect you. Yeah, um, I just instantly light that guy up. <laughs> also, my dude standing on top of a box in Necromunda with line of sight based game. <laughs> Terrible call. <laughs> Real bad idea. That Real bad idea. Buddy. You're going to struggle to get hard cover with that. Um, yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Kind of bland. Don't love him. It's all right. I like the idea of like you know more generic mercenaries that can go in every gang. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Like different types of hired guns is fun, but yeah, they're a bit bit dull. But everyone else in Necromunda is just so fucking crazy, right? Mm. Well, here's something else that's not quite as crazy as it could be. Yeah, squat exo armor. Uh, there we go. It's like the most generic power armor. I'm You've really ever seen. not a fan. 
And none of them have helmets either, have you noticed? You don't need helmets. Oh, uh, hopefully there's an option to put helmets on them. Yeah, I just want those, like, the domes, like the yeah. the diggers from Necromunda had. Yeah, give them the domes. Um, I really don't like them. No, I don't like them. Oh, he's got a helmet. Oh, yeah. uh, they just look like off... Off-brand Warhammer, don't they? Like, um... Is it Warpath? Yeah. Um... I think there's some space dwarves in that that... Yeah. The same. Yeah, because they... The Forge Fathers. Yeah, because they had a battle bot that we used in... Yogg's Quest 2? Right. Like, they, like they literally just look like they could be out of this this army. Yeah, they just look like knockoffs of these guys. These guys don't even look that good. <laughs> Don't care. Don't care about them. Don't like them. Wee. Wee. Oh, I got this fun. Doc Ock. Um, so yeah, I'm super disappointed by these. Like the Exo Armor is like quite an important part of the squat range, and I think they've really dropped the ball. Also, like it's. I was kind of hoping that they were going to go with the the mining crew Exo Armor. Do you remember that thing? Yeah, it's like almost dreadnought sized. And if suddenly they had like just like a squad of three of those guys mm. rather than just like they you've Some got slightly you've got chunkier boys and now you just have your like Terminator equivalent. Like mm. do something bigger and weirder. Like big like three man squads of yeah. super armor. And again that thing's super out of place. Weird random bits of like kind of Celtic Celtic banner like yeah. it doesn't fit with the rest of their aesthetic don't super love it no Wah. especially after we saw those um classic ones yeah kick start. <laughs> real bad like seeing those last week were so so much better mm. poop i got um rumor engine uh so shackles God, it could be anything dark elves oh. again all those dark elves we've been seeing dark elves they love slaves yeah um maybe a war cry thing could be a Warcry thing, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a Chaos thing. Could be a Necromunda. Could be a Necromunda thing. Could be those new Orcs. Oh, uh, yeah. Those new Yeah, because it is, like, very spiky. Mm. Um. Mm. Yeah. Could be a lot of things. Let's just see. Um, and then we've got some news on Warhammer 3. Mortal Empires. Nice. Look at this map, fucking map, isn't it? Enormous. Weird. I don't know how I feel about those blank spots of Ind and Kuresh. Yeah. I mean, I guess they'll fill them in at some point or not, but you kind of need something there because. Are they going to add? I don't know. Ind faction? Because if you remember on Warhammer 2, the wall, the line at the end of the map used to be about here, and then they expanded it out to about here. Um, this part, like the Dragon Isles and Noblar Country, and all of this part was kind of was blank, like Indies now, mm. and then they filled it in later with extra DLCs. So I don't know. I it's, personally it's, don't care about Ind or. But it's weird that you can, I assume, sail down from the Jade Sea mm. around these just like yeah, it's kind of weird dead zones. Like I'd almost rather they just had. Some random territories that they retcon and change later, mm. and just put whatever uh, an empire faction, uh, just some random shit down there. Yeah, I guess well, like they did with um, uh, before when you had like the Southland. Well, like Astilia, uh, Tilia and Astalia, like those just had random empire colonies, right? Yeah, um, just do something like that. Um, I mean, it's it's. So rarely is it going to matter you're going to be anywhere near this bit. Unless you literally start in the Dragon Isles or this part of Cafe. You're basically never going to see this. Probably, yeah. But That's a fair point, though. It's still, you know, like 5% of the map that you could be going near. Mm. Like, the fact that you can go around it. Um, but that's super just nitpicky. Um, I am excited. It looks good. Mm. Uh Things I really like the idea of. Mm -hmm. So sure, they've had to do some squishing. Of course, I mean, there's limitations on the engine. I can't blame them for having to squish things up a bit. Um, especially, uh, like, with the Great Ocean, where now um, Ulthan is real close. But, 
I don't mind it too much. And it feels like if it's that close, you're not going to just end up with the High Elves number one, yeah. which was 95% of games. Yeah. Well, they now you've got some other fan. factions on there. Look, like the Slanish Demons start on Ulthran. Which is so cool. They, I think the donut will take a long time for someone to actually come out on top there. Which seems great. Because mm. um, there's there more... If you scroll down, I think there's like more updates on... Oh, okay. No, they, they've released think. now like where the Orcs are starting. Oh, really? Um, so Skarsnik actually starts at uh, Carrot Eight Peaks. Hey, he well, got that. starts at um, Mount Gunbad. It's like pretty close. Um, it was on their Twitter. But oh, look at that! So like this, this looks really cool. Um, yeah, I love how they've split the demons up. It's not just like five different chaos factions all in the north, yeah. and it becomes like a north-south giga alliance. Yeah, it's real nice. Now that you know, you've got Slanesh over on Northland. You've got Zinch down the bottom. Um, wow. We got corn in here. Really split them up nicely. Yeah, so look, there's Scar Snick. He's That's basically like Harrogate Peaks. It's pretty close, yeah. But like having Wurzag down south, uh, Grom fucking poised to like yeah. launch into uh, Ulthan. Great, That's awesome. I love that. Um, Azag just he's going to be fucking fucking around with dwarves and stuff, and Grimgore just off. Oh, he's off fighting man. the Chaos Dwarves, I guess. Because he's going to lead like the Black Orc Rebellion, I guess. Something like that. Because um, this is where Chaos Dwarves will start. Yeah, when they, they um, the Orcs is a... Like, it's basically like that area is populated by Orcs and Chaos Dwarves. Mm. And Hobgoblins, I guess. Um, but yeah, yeah I'm down really down. excited for like the mix of... Mm. Uh, yeah, it's going to be so much more chaotic and diplomatic than before. It's looking really cool. Now, this isn't even half the factions yet. Yeah, yeah. There's like loads, loads more to be added. Oh, look, Clan Eshin starts over here, which is great. So over it's not just Cathay. a big cafe off. There's going to be more factions in there. Nakai is over here, the lizard man guy. He wandered. He wandered real hard. He, he used to what? Used to hang out in Albion. <laughs> wow, God! If the huntsman still has a grudge against Nakai, he has got <laughs> a long way to go. Well, does it wrap around? Can you can you sail off one side of the world and turn up on the other side? Uh, well, you'd have to go past Nippon and have the poop demons and oh, uh, yeah. Godzilla. Oh, don't mess with Great Gojira. Um. <laughs> it does wrap around, apparently. Really? Yeah, that's what they're saying in chat. Ooh. With sea lanes. Ah, oh, okay. Ah. Okay, that's cool. Well, this is really exciting. I can't wait to try out the Mortal Empires. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, looks really fun. Yeah, bunch more factions to add in, but... I just, I just want to be back in the old world with yeah. some of the new things. Yeah, some um, of the new stuff, but also stuff that I know and care about. Yeah. Um, they did a size comparison of the Leagues of Vulcan, Voltan on um, Games Workshop's website, but I can't, it doesn't look right. Like um, That base looks too thin. That base is thinner, isn't it? Like I think they've exaggerated yeah. the scale here to placate the nerds. They've been like, look, don't worry, they're not massive. But they've actually shrunk them. They've put him lower down to try and do a Hobbit-style perspective trick. Mm. But also, that's like 10, 20% yeah, thinner. Thin. I think they're big. And they're lying to us. Wee. 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 